Hey, what's going on everyone? Neil Henderson here from Clearview Plastics in Sacramento, California. And uh, today I wanted to go over some of the options that we have for uh, mitigating fumes and smells and uh, particulate inside of 3D printing and laser engraving. So I've been getting a lot of uh, feedback from users and just concerns from users that, especially on the 3D printing side, that uh, they're getting sensitivities uh, to the 3D printing. Um, or that they're at least concerned about the fumes and uh, the, the particulate coming from the 3D printing process, even on some of the more uh, innocent uh, filaments. So uh, here's a couple options that we make right here at our shop in Sacramento. Check this out. Okay, so I'm going to go over some of our options around fans, filters, and some of the other connections that we make here at Clearview Plastics. And so, um, you know, if you're... Uh, doing a 3D printer enclosure or a laser enclosure, these are some great options to add on to your order. So uh, here we go, here's the first one. The first one that we have is uh, basically just a, uh, it would be an exhaust fan. And by the way, all of these fans, uh, we use 12 volt and really easy to connect, uh, just simple barrel plugs to uh, set these guys up. Uh, they come with a speed control and they come with uh, some extra wire length so that um, it, so that you can kind of set it up and and get the switch or the the uh, speed control to where you need it to. So um, with our fans, we offer the fans in in two speeds. Uh, one is a 95 cfm, and the other one is a 200 cfm fan. And uh, basically, the idea here, the hardware that's already attached when you get these, is the hardware that you use to attach it to your enclosure so you just basically take these screws off and there's uh, some long kind of barrel nuts in there or uh, some uh, some rivet screws in there and uh, it, it just bolts right onto the back our enclosures uh, will have at least one hole uh, for these and um, and so it's about a five minute setup so uh, <clears throat> these are definitely the ideal for if you're trying to exhaust outside for the laser engraver audience and the 3D printer audience that wants to exhaust the fumes outside outside of a window. Uh, the, the benefit here is that this bracket here will allow you to simply just slide on a four inch exhaust hose and then it, it comes with like a, a ring clamp and then you just clamp it right on. Uh, really easy to set up, really fast to set up. And uh, so yeah, good for that. So the next option here is this is our uh, exhaust filter. So our exhaust filter has uh, a HEPA filter that is charcoal impregnated. So the HEPA uh, helps to catch particulate. The charcoal helps to reduce fumes and smells coming out of the printer. Um, and uh, it's based on our 95 CFM fan, just like you see over here. So the cool thing about this particular filter is that you actually get two benefits out of it. So uh, you can easily uh, convert it over to an exhaust fan simply by removing this cap and uh, taking out the filter. And so it's about a 15 second transition and you can convert it back into the filter mode uh, simply by putting the filter back in and, uh, and putting the cap back on. So uh, one thing to know, if you are uh, exhausting your fumes out, uh, this goes more for the 3D printer crowd, um, then it, you're going to be displacing air inside of your enclosure. And uh, since we're going to be displacing air, it can create kind of a negative pressure or uh, actually with our enclosures, uh, basically you want to actually allow some air to come inside the enclosure. So uh, for that, we actually make what's called an intake filter. So there's no fan on this one. This one would uh, attach to the side panel usually. Um, and so as you exhaust your air out, then the intake filter allows clean air to go in and, uh, and then just allows general air circulation to go through the enclosure so that you know that you're pumping the fumes outside. So this has been a really popular combination for users that are exhausting outside. Um, and then uh, some users actually already have their own fan, maybe called an inline fan, um, that is connected up to a four inch exhaust hose. Uh, so with that, you can actually get just this bracket here under our accessories page. 
um, inside of, I think it's uh, our uh, laser engraver um, uh, pan, or like ducting option. You can get just this, uh, just this bracket uh, and this attaches onto the back panel. And then uh, you can do your, uh, your uh, inline fan using the four inch exhaust hose. And then uh, this would again, just allow fresh air to come into the enclosure. Uh, one the last note with this one is the bamboo audience is specifically concerned about temperatures inside the enclosure and making sure that their electronics are not overheated. Um, I might just suggest that's an overblown issue. We've tested about 50 printers and multiple bamboos over the past four years, and we print six days a week. Um, and uh, for example, we've had the P1 and the A1 since day one, and uh, we've never had an electronics issue. We've never gone through a main board. We've never gone through a power supply on any printer with our enclosures. So, uh, <clears throat> sorry, small little tangent there. So. Those two are a great option. Uh, next is our recirculating filter. And so <clears throat> the recirculating filter is good in that it has a HEPA filter for a pre-filter, and then it has charcoal filter built inside of the filter here. <clears throat> and so with this one, we're recirculating the air inside the enclosure. This filter is ideal for 3D printers that are not already enclosed. So <clears throat> guys that are printing with, uh, with uh, bed slinger printers, uh, this one is a nice option because it helps you to retain heat inside the enclosure for printing advanced filaments like ABS and ASA. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so this one, again, you're, you're building heat inside the enclosure and so not ideal for like the bamboo printers uh, where you don't necessarily want to, or just enclosed printers in general where you don't want to uh, build the heat up inside the enclosure. Uh, with the uh, exhausting filter, <clears throat> since you're exhausting the air out, really this is ideal for the enclosed printers when you, uh, it, when you don't want to build up the heat and with this, you really pretty much run at room temperature. So again, that's uh, on that electronics issue, that's pretty ideal for the enclosed 3D printers. <clears throat> uh, by the way, uh, these printers, or these uh, filters, this square HEPA filter and this round HEPA filter, the way that we design these, instead of using proprietary filters like everyone likes to use, uh, what we actually made, what, the way that we designed this is we made it so that you can easily order these filters on Amazon cost about five bucks a piece. And if you replace that a few times a year, we recommend about every 300 print hours, then they're easy to get. They're very easy to get on Amazon and, and totally inexpensive. So uh, the last uh, two things I just wanted to show you too are a couple, uh, call it ducting options that we have. And so we've designed up some ducting so that, um, you know, it's always a bit of a, 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 a bit of a, a hurdle to get things ducted from like your enclosure over to the window. So this, this might be ideal for both the 3D printer audience and the laser engraver audience. And the first thing that we have here is what's called our blast gate. The blast gate, it basically takes an idea from uh, woodworking dust collectors and uh, implements it for, uh, uh, for, for these two, for 3D printing and laser engraving. So the idea here is you can see we've got our four inch exhaust hose bracket here. So uh, you can actually have this placed onto the enclosure itself. And, or you can also have it placed uh, like on a window insert that is heading out the window. So again, our, our four inch exhaust hose bracket makes it really easy so that a four inch exhaust hose just slips right on. And then the cool thing about this is <clears throat> then you can just simply open up the blast gate and, uh, and then it, you can exhaust outside. So this is beneficial, especially if you live in an area where it gets really cold and really hot to ensure that the outside air isn't getting inside when your laser or your 3D printer is not in use. So, uh, it, so basically after you're done, then you can just close it right up and, it, and then you, you help seal out the outside air. Uh, and then, you know, we also have some other um, accessory options, uh, like this is just a, a simple reducer that slips right onto our 
exhaust bracket here to go down from like a four, basically a four inch hose down to a three inch hose. We've got expanders up to a six inch. We've also got elbows um, that to kind of uh, to so that you can uh, make turns a little bit easier. Um, and <clears throat> so uh, just a couple of more accessories. So a good place to find uh, these if they're not uh, available inside of the configuration when you're actually setting up your 3D printer enclosure or your laser engraver enclosure. And you can find these on the accessories page. So, page. so you go shop, you go accessories, and, uh, it, and you can, we, we've got a couple of accessories like this and related accessories that you can check out. So as I close out here, I just wanted to mention one more thing. So with 3D printing especially, there's filaments that are designed to be a little bit less toxic and considered to be a little bit more innocent for 3D printing. But the reality is, is that inside of 3D printing, there's particulate that is released and there's off-gassing of certain chemicals uh, when you turn these plastics into molten plastics. And so <clears throat> with that, everyone has different levels of sensitivity. Some people are more sensitive and some people are less sensitive. But if you find yourself to be, uh, uh, to be concerned or if you're sensitive to, uh, to 3D printing, we make some great enclosures and we make some great uh, fans and air filters to help mitigate the fumes from 3D printing. So, uh, it, and again, we make all of our enclosures and our fans and our filters right at our shop here in Sacramento, California. Uh, we've also worked with a wide variety of clients from your hobbyists inside your house to schools, to universities, small businesses, um, and uh, uh, even Fortune 500 companies and the government uh, entities as well. So if you want to see more of the enclosures and the fans and filters that we make, hop on over to our website. It's clearviewplastic.com, and that's clearviewplastic.com. Uh, my name is Neil Henderson. I'm the owner over here. And if you have any questions, please give us a shout. Thanks. Bye.